Now how's it going guys, it is I, your Sadisk Spirit Guide, Yokai Poppy Wolf, and today I kind of want to do something different where I talk about things that are happening from uh, manga or anime or anything that I've just recently been getting into, and kind of have a small little short discussion about it and, you know, just pose some questions and, you know, put it all on the table and help us get the idea across. And uh, I'm doing this about Himawari Uzumaki, and I'm, after reading the newest chapter of Barto were revealed that Himawari has somewhat caught Damon's attention, not romantic attention, no, <laughs> it's not puppy love that's making him jump for joy against her, it's genuine curiosity that her power, her her pure intensity has sparked somewhat, something in Damon that has made him go, interesting, out of all the people he's seen, Baruto, Kawaki, um, Shikamaru, um, Code, even, all these, uh, uh, Jigen level threats seeing Himawari is the only person who's gotten interested in what could be an interesting fight and that just leads to believe what exactly has Himawari got like what does she have as a potential uh, rival to Damon or even just someone who can be on Damon's level what does she have uh, despite her having her own Byakugan and being able to unlock it here and there and have this special ability known as lock on where she can you know just get to a person's chakra point like right on the right on the spot we haven't really even seen a lot from Yuwari to even like like we haven't had more hints other than the fact that she's knocked out Naruto and Kurama together that's a pretty big feat everyone took it as a gag me too took it as a gag that was cute and but it always made sense to me why she is able to do these things she is the daughter of naruto the descendant of ashura and uh hinata being a somewhat close descendant to hamura's family of the utsutsukis just as baruto has inherited the jogan i had this idea and it's a small little theory i want to talk about two theories that i think could be interesting the first one is just like how when eventually Kog um Hagoromo had his two children, Indra and Ashura. Indra invent, uh, took his dojutsu. Um, Ashura took his chakra. And since we've already seen that Baruto has taken this dojutsu known as the Jogen and somewhat may or may perhaps have been influenced by Toneri, we're led to believe that maybe Himawari has inherited some of the Uzumaki's vast amounts of chakra. And on top of that, add that she could be genetically more Sutsuki than anything there is something to play with right there we have no idea the the limits to which she can unlock and that's just her chakra reserves and what she can do perhaps she can have the Byakugan on and do some amazing things some people believe that perchance maybe she has the Tensei gone uh, that is a theory by NC Hammer who I enjoy watching but I don't think that I don't I don't I don't want to play to that I think it's too easy to give her the Tensei gone um, I have the first theory is that is of course that she inherited the chakra of Rutsutsuki and also that she just as Naruto's kind of become a modern day sage she's passed on that chakra reserves to his daughter now Himawari has plen plentiful amounts of chakra we have I don't know what that could be though it could mean that she can make her own style of fighting perchance she could make um, gentle palm Rasengan. I don't know. Just, just spitballing stuff here. I don't want to get too, uh, you know, on the, on the board of what potentially she can do. It's just something I'm, I'm thinking about. Like, to enable to interact with Damon and or at least catch Damon off guard means that her abilities have to be at least above Jigen level, or at least the potential. And one thing I kind of want to discuss is when he looks at her. He kind of senses her chakra, kind of, and, and, and he senses her intensity, but through her chakra, which makes me think maybe she has some sort of sage or um, maybe like implements of Naruto's chakra or just a, a huge amount of reserves that make her deadly. We don't know exactly. She was just minding her own business, so we're just left to speculation here. But my second theory, it's it's not as it's not as it's not as tuned, but I think it has something to do with her Byakugan. Now, Himawari is one of the first Hugas that 
doesn't just have a Byakugan. It's not just on all the time and she just turns it on, turns it off. She has to she has to unlock it. She has to like turn it on and her blue eyes turn into the Byakugan eyes. I think it's safe to say because with the Yutsutsukis, their Byakugans are, yes, they have the bare necessity things that all Hyuga have, but they also have some special implements. We see Momoshiki's Byakugan is kind of able to have a bit of foresight and look into the future, and it's led me to believe that perchance maybe Himawari's is somewhat similar. Now, if I don't believe she might have a type of foresight, but what if she can see, and hear me out, and stay with me here, cause and effect, sort of like Epitaph can from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, where she's able to see a situation in which that person may end up there, and she can implement a whole strategy in which she does something there. And why I, I think she could have this ability, and why it would be interesting to give her this ability, perchance, I don't know how Kishimoto's writing these days, but... If she had that ability, why I think it would be pretty OP, especially why it would be Shinjutsu level, is because someone like Damon, who the, the, just the mere thinking of punching him can cause you to get the repercussion, the full counter um, ability of, that he has. Now, that's if you think about the intent, and it's kind of hard when you fight somebody not to think about them. But what if Himawari's ability, her, her, um, Byakugan allows her to see above it. So now her intent is before Damon can even have his hands on her, even have his ability to react to the intent, she's already hit in a direction in which he was going to come. Or she's already able to uh, understand exactly how he's going to move. So everywhere she moves, he just happens to run into. It kind of, uh, like, he, before he, she, she doesn't even need to think about the intent, she's just hitting that direction and before just out of nowhere she just hits left and damon's like all right i'm gonna jump left and right when she's already thrown the hand he hit he kind of runs into her fist kind of situation i'm not sure i'm i'm spitballing ideas I, I there's a lot of men who made stronger emphasis on maybe her um she has a secret ability maybe uh her she will inherit the tensegon many people have theorized better videos than me i'm just thinking of the talking point now because himawari is honestly one of my favorite characters in the new generation and i'm happy that she's getting some limelight and even recognition from my second favorite character from this that being damon damon is my fucking second favorite character of this like uh manga series the fact that he just dog walks fucking code and doesn't bat an eye but his whole interest is sparked because he sensed Himawari, he sensed that intensity. It says something. The fact that my, my, my one of my newest favorite characters is giving some like, speculation that, okay, she might have the dog in her, I don't know, is giving me hope that Himawari might be handled a bit better than her mom was in the original Naruto series. I, I'm crossing my fingers, Kishimoto. Don't let me down, man. I'm trying to see Himawari do some crazy shit, bro. I don't know what she her abilities can be. I'm I really hope it's it's something that can counter um Damon. So it makes it a little bit more fair. And just it just makes her just a bit more appealing, maybe. But we don't know. Maybe she'll run into Kawaki when she gets home and that'll show some of the intensity that we haven't seen before. Maybe we're turning her into a Gohan character in which when her emotions take over and she loses control, she's a little bit more powerful. That could be something because if she's not thinking and she's just doing, there really isn't intent. She's just not thinking while hitting. That could possibly be how she can kind of counter Damon too. I'm not really, I'm not really sure, but hey, I feel like videos like this where I just talk about random talking points in anime or manga or cartoons. Let me know down below, like the video, comment if you have any other theories or if you want to tweak on my theory or you want to play off of it and subscribe. It gives me more motivation to make more videos on YouTube instead of just streaming and you know, I don't want to waste this channel. I'm having fun. That being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless and see you later. It's been fun. I have been your sadistic spirit guy, Yokai Poppy Wolf saying peace out, peace and love and adios. Have a wonderful day.